Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back bringing you a new fan fun deck with the new Stranger Guys. We're gonna see what it can do. And it's with our girl Faria. It is called Bushido Blade. Yep. And it's gonna be awesome. But before we get into it, we just remind you everybody that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out, see what you like, see what you don't like. Show us an extra little bit of support, it'd be greatly appreciated. <laughs> with that, let's delve into Bushido Blade and let's see what it can do. Yep. So first up, we got our girl Faria. For those that don't know, she's the new Stranger Ruler, the starter deck, the white blue one. Uh, Stranger Rule 10, you begin with a Stranger deck of 10 cards, and you can only have two copies of each Stranger in it. Yep. And you can pay Judgment, which is two white and blue to Judgment, or Energize, she's just white or blue. And then her main ability on the front side, when a Light Regalia enters the field under your control, choose one. If it's Excalibur, you choose two instead. But you can choose from a Stranger deck at random card, so you put a, a random dude from your Stranger deck in your hand, <laughs> destroy target Rested Resonator, draw a card, or pay zero for judgment. Okay. So she's got four different abilities that you get to choose from to do whatever you want to do. Whatever whatever fits you best. And most of the time it's going to be destroying a Resonator and, and or getting a Stranger. Yeah, because we have all the Regalias. Yeah, yeah. The... And she judgments into a 10-10 with precision. And enter, you choose a card from your Stranger deck at random and put it in your field. So you get a free dude. Yep. And then God's Art is a white and a blue. This card gets plus four, plus four, drain eternal until the end of the turn. Choose a card from your Stranger deck at random and put it into your hand. Yep. So her God's Art is there to just protect her. Like, to give her plus four, plus four, and eternal, really, you get extra benefit of drain. But yep. it's there to protect her. And then her Stranger deck is pretty crazy because we're, we're playing we're playing as many colors as I can in this. Yeah. It's, it's pretty pretty simple. And with all the new stones, is yeah, why not, right? Yeah. Uh, so we got two Azazels, the Burn, the Blazing Charger, which he is a red black. <laughs> really good. And Resonator you control gets Swiftness. Whenever Resonator you control is put into the graveyard from the field, this card does 200 damage to target player or J Resonator. Pay red, target J or Resonator must attack or block this turn. Yep. Do you get to force attacks and blocks how you want them, which is, well, not necessarily how you want them, but you get to force them. It's, it's useful. Yeah. You're like, hey, you want to stay home? No, come here. <laughs> Next up is Shade. A black and one for a 6-6 six, six stranger. He's got Bane, and he enters. Your opponent banishes a Resonator. Yeah. And when this card is put into the graveyard from the field, your opponent banishes a Resonator. Double so, value. So he can essentially kill three dudes. Yeah. Pretty, pretty wild, but it is what it is. Next up is one of the best strangers I've seen. Yeah. Actually, he is White Wizard. He's one white for a 5 7 with Drain. Prevent all damage that will be dealt to resonators with 1 1 counters on them by chance and abilities. Enter, distribute two 1 1 counters on up to two target J resonators you control. Yeah. So, so he just helps you get around Burn. Burn and also the priests that, priestess, priestess that always, you know, targets the dudes. Like, nope, no thank you. And yeah, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, really? Next up is Ku Tulan. He is two red and one black for a 10-10 with first strike and bane. And he gets swiftness and precision if your life is 2,000 or less. Jesus. And then whenever this card attacks your opponent, discards a card. So he's just there to help get damage in. Yeah. First strike and bane is the most difficult combo to fight against, for yeah. sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, next up, stranger we have is Ishtar, the great goddess of kindness. Two white and two blue for a 10-10. In enters, you push non-stranger resonated from your graveyard into play. Yep. So she just gets you back one of your actual dudes. And the last guy I have is Arthur, the King of Knights. He's two white and a blue for a 10-10 with precision and first strike. Other knights of the round table you control gain eternal. And enter, you may search your deck for a knight of the round table and put it into the field. Yep. So he's he's literally in here for one card for the enter trigger, but his other ability works for another card. Yeah. So we'll go over all that and you'll see why he's here. But there's tiny synergistic wombo combos yeah. in this deck. And I really only had one of them because you don't need, yeah. like he's there for that one combo and it's not really that great. It is, but it's not. Yeah. So I'm not going to focus on him that hard. <laughs> but that is it for the strangers. It's full 10. It's just, it's it's wild. Well, well all right. We'll go ahead and get into the resonators here. We have Lamorak, Lemorak, I'm assuming that's what it is. Yeah. Strange name. Blue and a white, 6-6, six, six. Knight of the Round Table. This card gains plus two, plus two, and drain as long as you control a regalia, and then your regalias you control have barrier. So she's the card you go get with Knight, with uh, you know, Arthur. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. And we have our reddest, blackest waifu right here. <laughs> is a Shakti. It's a black, red, 6-6. Six, six. 
She's a five hero, so remember that. For effects of Regalia you control, treat this card as though it's a J roller. And then whenever you play a sword art, copy it. You may choose new copy two new targets for the copies, and that is one of the strongest abilities ever. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. She just auto copies spells, which yeah. is kind of ridiculous. Next up is Hito Matano Orochi, the pet of Lineth. It is a red and a white for a 2-2 with barrier. So you can't be targeted, which is awesome. Uh, you pay a red and a white, put two own counters on this card. If you control a regalia, you put four on it instead. This card gains precision as long as there are eight or more counters. And this card gains eternal impurity as long as there are 20 or more counters. So, so just if insane. you have extra mana in turn, you're just like, put more counters on him. And if you get a white wizard in play, damage can't be dealt to him either. Yeah. So, pretty good. And if you have the red, white uh, regalia, then it's like free mana. Free yeah. Free pumps for Then it's free pumps for him. Next up is the Traveler in Wonderland. Is two white and a blue for an 8-8 quick cast. Your J Ruler gains barrier, so Shakti gains barrier and your J Ruler. Yeah. And then enter, you rest target J Resonator, so if she enters and taps a dude. You could pay zero, choose a race. Resonators you control gain the chosen race until the end of turn. Play this ability only once per turn. Or only on, yeah, only once per turn. So you can make your dudes whatever you need to make them, which yep. most of the time in this deck, you're gonna make them a five hero. Yep. And if anything, if not, yeah, yeah, then, then that's pretty much what it does because of all the bonuses. Because of this guy's, Lars, Knight of the Sacred Spirit, two white and blue, it's an 8-8, eight, eight, five hero, it has drain and first strike, super good. Prevent the first damage that would be dealt to five heroes you control each turn. So yeah. if you pay zero, all your dudes have five heroes, then you just swing in and kill their board or whatever you need to. And then you may pay the attribute cost of five hero cards with light will, which the only one that happens in the hand is Shakti. Yeah. So if you get mana screwed somehow, which will happen during our brawl for sure, then <laughs> she'll be able to get cast. Yeah, pretty much. And now with the, of course, one of the first powerful sword arts is opening the red eyes. It's a black red quick cast. Uh, target J resonator gains plus seven, plus seven, precision and first strike until in the turn. If it's Shakti, uh, put seven one one counters on it and gains precision, first strike and eternal until in the turn instead and so when you copy it because it's just one spell for two mana you have a 14 to 14 plus on your shakti yeah and eternal it's yeah, so it, it gets gross it's extremely gross and crazy yeah all right first regalia is a leviathan hmm? it's a black and a red it's spelled weird and it freaked me out <laughs> all right of course it's mythic so a mythic you can only have one on the field at uh, uh, any time your j ruler gains swiftness so uh, that's goes with shakti Tap, produce two wills of any combination of red and black. Spin this only to play God's Arts, Strangers, or Sword Arts. Yeah, so we're just we're just playing Regalia's and making Shakti even better than she already is. And if you get Faria Flip, then she gets to be awesome too. Yeah, exactly. And then these next two ones will trigger Faria's front side. Yeah. First one is Excalibur, of course, is blue and white. It has Mythic as well. Your J Ruler gains plus four, plus four, so it goes to Shakti. Solid. And then tap, produce two wheels a combination of white and blue. Spin this for God's Art, Strangers, and Sword Art. The next regalia we have is Caduceus. It is white and red with Mythic. Your J Ruler gains Drain. So Shakti and Fair Faria get Drain. And then you produce two wheels of any combination of white or red. Spin this only to play Strangers, Mage Arts, or 12 or activate abilities of 12 DUDs. So yep. your little snake, you can use this to tap for its ability. Yep. Which is pretty handy. Yeah, which is super cute. All right, now the rest of the spells are sword arts. So this goes with the two regalias they have, which really works. Mm -hmm. Sacred Wave Blade. It's a blue and a white quick cast. Remove target, target resonator or addition from the game. This card was awakened. Choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it in your hand. And awakening cost is one white. So kill spell and get a dude. Yeah. Sounds good. And if you copy a Shakti, then you just get all the strangers and yeah. all the dudes. The thing is with these sword arts is they're extremely powerful to, for two will, yeah, and it's insane. And you don't have to awaken them; you can just pay to kill a dude, which is sometimes you need to do it. Yeah, exactly. Just, as a thing. just like this one, bloody break, black and a red quick cast uh, sword art. Destroy target J Resonator, which is super powerful. Solid for two. If this card was awakened, choose a card from a stranger and put it random in your hand. Yeah. And then the final sword out of the deck is Awakening of the Sacred Queen. It is two white and a blue for a quick cast sword art. Choose one, search your deck for a light regalia and put it into the field. Gain 1000 life, draw a card. Gain 1000 life and draw a card. Yeah. Or rest target resonator and then J's you control get plus four plus four. So 
mainly this is there if you need to get one of the other white regalias is its main purpose is why i put it in there yeah but if you need the other abilities if you have all your regalias then sure so be it use whatever you need to do yeah gain some life draw a card or give your dudes plus four plus four because why not it's it's just it's, it's a pretty good spell for what it does super good and for us needing the ability to get two different regalias with this one card makes it a lot better yeah especially when it just jumps right onto the field yeah so you can trigger uh, her Varia immediately. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Yeah. Uh, the stones, we're playing all the dual stones practically. We have uh, Magic Stone of Scorched Bales, we have, which is the red-black dual stone. We have Magic Stone of the Heat Ray, which is the white-red dual stone. And then Adaractes Memoria, which, which is... essentially counts as the white-blue dual stone because your ruler is white-blue. Yep. And then we have one Darkness Magic Stone just because I have a lot of darkness in here, so I want to make sure I have the ability to play it especially in the stranger deck for sure yeah the stranger decks most where the darkness hits but luckily we only need one so if you get one darkness it's not really that like it's, it, you yeah, pretty yeah. much can play almost everything exactly but that is the deck machido blade it it looks super fun i can't wait to try it out and see what it does because it's got so much crazy things with shakti yeah and i just want to make her all voltron I mean, it, it, it's voltron exactly there's like what's all the best cards in the set here it is <laughs> yeah right here so we're going to see what happens. Uh, if you want to see the deck list, guys, it'll be down below. Go check it out and leave a like in the comment and let us know. We'll see you all again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Also, guys, we just remind you all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year. And especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, Thank you, very you very much. much. We love you.